This is the continuation of the first video of the Vega Excel generation. If you haven't watched that yet, please check the link in the top right corner of the video or the description details below. We can use this to export any page list from the report and report definitions as well. But we need to define an Excel template for this. You can use either of these two methods to generate Excel according to your requirements. Now let's do the hands-on using this activity. So we have an experience list on the UI, which we want to download as an Excel. Let's see the page list property behind this. So this is our page list property experience, which we have to use in the Excel template. Let's do the configurations first. So in this Excel template, the first row defines the column labels and the second row defines the column values. We have to keep the values in this format. So this is our page list property and this is the property inside the page list. Now we have to create a binary file of Excel file type where we'll upload the Excel template. So we have uploaded the Excel template now in this binary file. Now let's create the activity to generate the Excel. So we are calling TX generate Excel file in the second step. And in the first step, we are passing the parameters. So this is the file name. This is the template you should keep in this format. We are passing download file as true and delete file after download as true. So it will delete the file from the default repository after downloading it. Now add a download button in the section and in the button action, add action open URL in window. And in the activity, we mention the generate Excel activity. So it will download in the same window. This is our generated Excel where you can see the list was exported. Now let's extend our activity to attach the Excel to the case. This is our default file path and we'll add the file name so this is our final file path where we'll get the excel So our default repository is default store. Now let's call OTV activity to attach the Excel to the case. So our attachment name is our file name and this is our file content.
let's keep these two parameters as false as we'll be attaching the file to the case so as you can see we have added one attach button to attach the file to the case in the attach button we have called the activity and refresh the harness now if we click on the attach button we can see the file has been generated and also attached to the case.